Hi, I'm Dave with Go Green Solar, and today we're going to be talking about the J-Box. You're going to hear the term J-Box used a lot in solar. Um, J-Box usually just stands for junction box. Uh, it's a metal enclosure, or it could be plastic, but we prefer metal because it's more durable. Uh, and wires come in and wires leave. However, the thing you want to do is, is like for, say, an AC trunk cable, you want to have, uh, like for microinverters, you want to use this type of stream relief. And then if you've got PV cable for a DC run, then you want to use these. So these will actually fit in here, and then you, you can uh, get the wires coming in. And once they're there, then you transition to some other type of wire, such as THWN-2, and then that continues off the roof. The basic components in the J-Box kit are the bracket, uh, the J-Box itself, and the different strain reliefs, plus the wire nuts. Installed in the J-Box will be a ground terminal, so that you can actually uh, have a place to land your number six and also uh, begin your number eight off the roof. And so the other part is this uh, other stream relief that's for the number six to come in to, the, to enter the enclosure. One of the other things that we've done to modify the J-Box here is that we've got these holes drilled in, in the corners. And these are what they call weep holes. Uh, what they're designed to do is if there's any water intrusion in the box, you don't want it to stay in there. You want it to escape. And so that's what these holes are designed for. Using this type of strain relief, you have it as a single hole, then it's, it's designed for AC cable. And this is the type that you would use if you were using your daisy chain or you're, you're coming off of a string of microinverters. And so you've got AC coming off the roof. And so you're going to have your, the black, the red, and the white. And so that will go through the strain relief. And then you use wire nuts to actually go through and take and transition from this type of wire to the THWN-2 wire. And then that will continue off the roof. Using the two-hole strain relief, you're able to put the PV cable through, which is about seven millimeter, so it's, it's actually pretty large. And then what you want to do is, is transition to the THWN-2 wire, and using the wire nuts, you can, you can get that going. And then uh, what you also want to do is, is you, you've got, you'll have a bunch of black wires in here, so you want to be able to do your housekeeping. So take the positive and, and label it with some red electrician's tape. And that way, you're actually you know able to maintain the DC convention of you know the red is positive and the black is negative, like just like in your car. This is the bear number six that you're going to see a lot of when you're doing your install. Um, it's designed to take the energy of a lightning strike off the roof and uh, to ground the equipment. Once it uh, enters this strain relief and then goes into the J box, it's going to terminate into this terminal bar. And so, uh, if one of these other screws will you'll actually use to secure the number eight green stranded THWN-2 wire, and then that'll actually go on and continue off of the roof uh, going through uh, one of the other conduits. These are uh, large waterproof wire nuts. Uh, they're included with the kit. Um, you'll actually be getting um, six of them just in case you've, you've been running your AC, and which would have two strings, you'd need, you'd need six of these. And the thing is that they've got gel inside, which is what makes them waterproof. The issue is that when you put wires in, the gel wants to come back out and so I strongly suggest that you use some disposable gloves when you're putting these on because the gel comes out and it really makes a mess out of everything. This is the stainless steel bracket and it's attached to an Iron Ridge XR10 rail. Uh, it basically just it requires you to, to put the uh, bolt upside down into this channel and slide it down, put a uh, star washer on, then you put the bracket on and then uh, secure it with a nut. The bracket's reversible, and so here it's shown in the reverse position where we've actually got uh, a larger hole, and that's made to accommodate the Pro Solar rail. Here it is with the bracket attached to the Pro Solar rail, uh, 3 8 bolt, and you're good to go.